There are a couple of characteristics about futures that I like to cover. First and foremost is that it is a derivatives. What is a derivatives? Futures as a derivatives means that the it doesn't actually have an intrinsic value like shares.、Uh, the value of futures is really derived from something else. There's an underlying here. So if it's crude oil, there is the actual crude oil itself that actually determines the value of futures. Mark to market is another characteristic that I won't go into depth here, but it pays to actually pay attention to that. And what that really means is that it is settled daily. Unlike stocks or equities, it's so usually only settled when you actually sell the stocks or buy it back if you are shorting. But when it comes to futures, every day it is marked to market. If your contract, if the futures contract that you hold drops in value, the amount that it dropped will be deducted from your futures account at the end of that day. So it's daily settlement. Leverage futures is traditionally very leveraged. Usually, you only need to put down somewhere between five percent to ten percent, depending on the actual futures contract itself. This you need to check with your brokers as well as the exchange. The exchange does determine what kind of、uh, margin that you need to put up, but best to check with the the broker. In this case, right now, this is not implemented in the futures、uh, Contopian research platform.、Uh, so.、Um, I'm not able to show you that, but just to keep that in mind because it does have a huge bearing on the actual price movement as well. The other characteristics of futures contract is that there is actually a price limit, meaning what is the maximum price that a futures can move within a day. Okay, I once it reached the maximum price movement within a day, let's just say 10 percent, it will just stop. The trading will halt altogether until next day. Why is that important? Uh, if you are long、uh, a futures contract and suddenly it dropped and hit the limit for that day, you won't be able to sell out for the remaining of the day.、Uh, it is not uncommon for, in particular, agriculture futures to go limit day continuously for a couple of days. So the next thing really is to look at the contract specifications.、Uh, again, I'll go to the CME. Just to pull out the contract specs here. Here, if this is the crude oil, so the light street crude oil, there are a couple of、uh, features to pay attention to. Number one is that one futures is equivalent to a thousand barrels.、Uh, the price is quoted in U.S. dollars and cents. These are the timing that it trades in. The minimum price movement is stated here, point zero one. We will see that in the actual. Quantopian research platform later on as we extract the price. There are a few other things to pay attention to, such as listed contract consecutive months are listed in the current year and the next five years. The settlement method is another key point to pay attention to. This is deliverable, meaning you need to actually physically deliver the oil、uh, if you actually hold the contract to maturity. So there are a few other things to look at. I'm gonna leave that for now.、Uh, right now, we'll go back to here and just continue on with the,、uh, with the explanations. Maybe in futures video, we'll go into the depth that is relevant to、um, designing of your algorithm.